Hello everybody, this is Graham, also known as The Collector 75, and welcome to another one of my Zoid reviews. Sorry I haven't done one for a while, but, um, well, I'm doing one now. Anyway, this, to, well today, I'm going to be doing um, two Zoids that were released in about 1987, I believe, or it could have been late 1986, can't remember. Um, but the first one is a blue Zoid, this is called Zaber, or Saber, can't remember how to pronounce it, but it's definitely pronounced with a Z at the start. And he is a blue zoid. Now then, he is motorised, and I'm just going to bring this a little bit closer so you can see it, because it is a bit dark on the camera there. How's this looking? There we go. If I just put the light right on him. There we go. Now, and then, he is a saber-toothed tiger. If I just come round, here we go. He is uh, quite a nice, heavily armed zoid. He's got his nice little fangs at the front there. I do like that. And then we come round, and this is uh, his back of him there. Um, yeah, so he's got a nice little gun here, nice little guns on the top there, which are all rotatable. And he's got these guns up here, which can go any way they want to. And he's got a nice little, um, uh, what do you call that, antenna section. And we're going to put this down there. Oh, dear. Right, now then, let's see if I can get the motor to work, because this motor has been a bit acting up a bit lately. But let's prepare some, for some noise. There we go, he doesn't really want to walk, but he'll definitely just do a bit of a moonwalk and then do that. I don't know why he's doing that, I think it's something to do with the motor, I might have to change the motor because I've got a spare one. Or is it just, I don't know. Hmm, I'll sort it out anyway, I think it's this leg here. There's some problems with it. Yeah, I think it's this leg, I think I might just swap it over with another one that I've got. But not to worry. Anyway, here he is. Let me uh, just do another close-up of him. In here is his little cockpit where we've got the uh, little gold Android driver, as you can see. Um, now then, this guy has been uh, repainted quite a few times um, for the new Zoids line back in about the early 2000s, and he was recolored in yellow and red. But the original Japanese release um, had him as um, a red Zoid with different sort of colored parts. Um, yeah, now I could have got that one a while ago on eBay for about 40 or 50 quid, but at the time I wanted to get the Blue Mammoth Zoid, so I didn't bother in the end. Right, sorry, I'm panting away, I'm knackered. walking around there. There we go, I'm going to put him down somewhere. I'm going to put him on the side there actually, out the way. And we're going to come on to my next Zoid, which is called Red Scavenger. Here we go, I'm going to put them on there like that. Now then, he is supposed to be some kind of wood lice. Let me bring this a bit closer to the camera. Now then, um, this Zoid doesn't exactly do a lot. Um, I had this one when I was a kid, and um, he, yeah, like I say, doesn't come with any weapons or anything like that. He is just basically a scavenger Zoid. And his sort of function is that he's supposed to just go around the battlefields after all the Zoids have been blown apart, and he collects all the other damaged bits and all the wreckage and... Just takes them back to um, Zoid headquarters and then um, they all get rebuilt into new Zoids and stuff like that. So yes, yeah, so that is his function, like I say, so he hasn't got any weapons or anything. Um, originally, when this guy was released in Japan, he was a blue Zoid, um, which I have seen on eBay, which I want to try and get, but uh, that's about 250 quid, which I'm not at all going to buy. Um, right, uh, I'm going to show you this guy, what he does. Because all he does is just walk along, walks along the uh, thing. He's got little wheels. There he goes off. Goes very slowly. And there you go. You can see the little ante antenna there at the front moving about, and the little radar dish on the top swiveling about, which is pretty cool. Um, if you put sort of like obstacles down, he will sort of like trample over them like a tank. Because he's got, if I show you, these wheels at the bottom there. I've got nice little rubber treads on them. And so they will sort of like clamber over most things, which is really cool. Um, yeah, now then, I bought, what was it, the uh, the Gustav reissue of this um, back in about 2004, which I really didn't like the colours, but it did come with these bits, which is all the extra bits this red Zoid never came with, but the blue Zoid Jap Japanese release back in about 1985, 86, did come with. And I could never work out why these never come with them, but all you do is you put all these bits on here, because there's loads of little holes in these trailers, if I can get them in, like that. And we're going to put this one here, because this will leave lots of holes. 
I'm gonna put that one there, and then this one, little crane sort of thing, at the edge there. Then we're gonna put this little sort of drivable thing on here, like that. And this has a little working lift on the side there. I'm gonna try and get this a little bit closer. Try and aim that light on it. Anyway, right. So then we get our other red zoid, and then we can put him on there as if he's being repaired or whatever's being done to him, like that. You can swing this around like that. You can move this about, and then it look, gives him a lot more pliability and makes him look a hell of a lot better too. So I'm just surprised they never released him um, like that when the original Red Zoids came out back in, well, this guy back in 1986, 87. So yeah. Um, no, but he does come with little uh, pegs all over the body, so if you did have any extra weapons, you could properly kit him out and he could be properly heavy, heavily armed. Um, yes, so um, that just about wraps up this review. Hope you liked it. Um, yeah, and um, I should have another Zoid review um, s probably coming up soon because I'm going to do the Super 1000 Zoids, which were the last Zoids to be released in like England and Europe back in the 80s. Um, so yes, yeah, so I hope you liked it and I shall see you all next time.